Okay, dear student, let's see what is there in this question. The graph shows the variation of torque with time acting on a rotating object. What is the angular impulse acting on the object? Now you want to find the impulse. So um, in the translational motion, in the translational motion I'm talking about, the impulse is given as the product of force and time. So usually when the, when the force is not constant with respect to time, it becomes very difficult to find what is the impulse. So what we do, we use the graph and we find the area under the graph because it is F multiplied by T. So in the case of rotation, the impulse will be given as torque multiplied by kind of delta T. So it is torque multiplied by time, that is impulse. So clearly in this case, if you want to find the angular impulse, we have to find the area under the curve. Complete area, that is PQR, this triangle, we have to find, and that will be the angular impulse. Let us see what are the options. <clears throat> the gradient of the line PQ, the average gradient, area under the line PQ, no, area under the line PQR. Complete area we have to take, and that will be the total impulse. So this is how we do this question, dear students. Thanks for watching. Please join the YouTube channel if you want to watch all the lectures for the topic A4. They're already uploaded on the YouTube channel. All the best.